a nice little magnet catches my pieces instead of having them fly everywhere okay I got this done I have uh, epoxy on both sides here and here and I'm gonna file that down or grind it down probably grind it just so it's flat and then this the same but it's epoxy just so it holds together you can see it's hollow okay like I said before uh, this copper should just fit in there and then a center core then I gotta wind a coil all the way around it so we'll get on to all of that okay we'll try to get a better video of this operating let's try this now I don't have the washers on the back sorry okay so they're off right now watch the amulet you can see it being drawn towards it it's exactly what I was looking for we'll try putting the uh, washers back on see if I get a better effect out of it so here's the deal this thing generates a pulsating magnetic field that 60 times a second okay but it's alternating magnetic field positive negative because this is on 60 cycle AC so what happens is you have a magnetic field that's collapsing and increasing and then eddy currents are created in this copper ring this copper ring once again is a quarter inch thick three quarter inches round solid copper with a five sixteenths hole in the middle now because there's a, a correlation between these that are opposite between the iron core and the copper core and the iron core okay um, there's actually an induced magnetic field in a non-ferrous metal that'll conduct electricity so um, gold silver uh, copper aluminum zinc all, all this these things they will induce a magnetic field in the material that you're trying to pick up so this is not guesswork this actually works I wanted to make one and prove to myself that it works before I go telling people to do it or that it might work it does work okay and uh, it's being used today by a lot of people for a lot of different reasons but I don't think anybody's using it for the purpose I would like to see it used for is to pull aluminum out of water I would like to see this used in a water line, maybe one, two, three of these, whatever it takes, okay? And uh, somebody's going to have to do some experimentation. I don't have the time or the expertise or the money, okay, to uh, be making a whole bunch of these coils with different designs and different diameters, maybe pointed, cone-shaped, whatever bowl shaped uh copper i don't know what's going to work okay i don't know what would work best but different uh arrangements physical arrangements are going to make this thing work differently and uh, give you a different concentration of magnetic field pointing outward from this magnet okay so that's what needs to be done but I want to see it used to pull aluminum out of water because we have a problem with aluminum and we all know where it's coming from and 
you could just look up and see where it's coming from. But there's been a lot of tests and uh, a lot of people have done this um, with snow and rainwater and found as uh, like down out of Mount Shasta, I believe it was, they uh, checked snow and at the beginning of a storm, a snowstorm, they were measuring 69,000 parts per billion of aluminum in the snow and it tapers off as the uh, storm progresses. 69,000 parts per billion and what is supposed to be in rainwater? Zero. Okay, so people were using this to drink with, people, you know, the rainwater catchment and stuff like this. Um, they're using it to water their plants, which, of course, is getting in the roots and killing them and uh, choking them off. That's why all of our trees uh, are dying, not beetle infestations. Um, so, anyway, this you could possibly... Pull aluminum out of the water so that you could drink it safely and water your plants in your garden because you could do this at a high rate more so than you can with a filter um, that you would use like reverse osmosis or something like that so I think this is cheap easy anybody could do it put it in the water line clean this once a day once a month whatever uh, it takes uh, arrange it in a filter container uh, uh, of something to to uh, collect the aluminum, but it uh, it should work. Good luck. One more thing. I'm giving this idea freely to the public for use. You can use it any way you want to. You can make them, sell them distribute them, give them away, do whatever you want to do, but this information, this idea, is open to the public and is given freely by me so that nobody can patent it. So you're not going to make uh, this thing sit on a shelf for the next 15 years while somebody tries to patent this. You can't patent it. I give it away freely. It's mine. I invented it. The the not the magnet, but the operation for pulling aluminum out of water. If it works, which it should, because this pulls <laughs> aluminum up, I just don't know uh, how to take it any further. I don't have the money to do that. So it's out there for everybody. Enjoy it. It's free. It's yours. Okay, I'm going to go over the construction of this thing. You have five layers of number 20 copper wire with a insulation thickness of uh, 0.065 inches. And I don't like it. I would... I know that it needs more. It probably needs at least double the windings on here, maybe triple. So uh, if I had enameled wire, number 20, that's what I would have used on here, but I didn't have any. So i got to use what i got. There's a paper core in here, cardboard uh, tube. It's about 1 and 3 16 wide, uh, outside to outside. All right, that this whole... Uh, winding was wrapped up on. Inside there are 140 wires that are 18 gauge. That's a 0 .040 uh, inch diameter. So uh, cross section there. So that uh, is 140 wires I cut straight through about two inches long. Okay and they stick out the back kept in neat order straight through so they're not twisted um, so there's 140 of those 
then there's an opening that was three quarters of an inch. I used a pipe um, with some tape on it to get exactly the dimensions I wanted so that this copper would sit down in there nicely. So I put this copper in there with one layer of tape just to insulate it electrically from the iron core. All right, so this is one quarter of an inch thick. It is three quarters of an inch across the outside. The inside hole is a five sixteenths. All right, the center core, the center iron core is a bolt, five sixteenths bolt, uh, something like a grade five bolt, and uh, it's you know epoxied in here and then I put some tape on it just to keep it sort of centered it doesn't touch the other iron core on this end so these are open on both ends both cores are open both cores are open here and that's it now you know how to make one that I made I got some quarter inch thick copper and I'm going to drill it out with a hole saw so I get like a washer made out of copper. Let's try it. equipment. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Let's keep going. 